Hey guys, this is Group 8 here, and our project is on Hamakua Marsh and some of the endemic and endangered water birds that live there. Just going to highlight a few of them. It's going to be the Hawaiian stilt, or ail, the Hawaiian kud, alai keo keo, and the Hawaiian galanu, or alai ula. So if you don't know where Hamakua Marsh is, it's located in Kailua on Oahu. Look at the map right here. It's right off Hamakua Drive, right on the Mauka side of it. Um, You'll see it if you drive on Hamakua Drive. It's right behind some um, landmark stores there, like um, Times Coffee Shop, Hawaii Exhaust, uh, Exhaust Systems Hawaii, uh, Safeway, stuff like that. So it's all this area back here. Okay. Uh, Hamakua Marsh is also home to some aquatic insect species, such as the damselfly. Uh, we're just going to take a look at Hamakua Marsh. So here's some pictures of it. As we can see here, it's one of the most productive areas for our native water birds. And it's pretty unique because it's literally right next to a pretty populated town. It's very busy. Um, so you can see um, other birds there, like the Hawaiian duck or koloa and the black crowned night heron or auku. So here's some pictures. We see the damselfly here. Um, we see some pollution, unfortunately, there as well, native plants. Uh, so yeah, should end later when we're over here. We'll watch a short video. So as you can see, yeah, there's businesses right behind this marsh area, this protected land, which is part of the reason why we have so much pollution in this area, unfortunately. And here we see a. Uh, an egg clutch of one of the endemic birds. This is from an alai ula, the Hawaiian galanu. Here we can see some of them. You can see houses, businesses right there, so close by. Here's the damselfly. And we'll just go through the rest. So if we click up here, this is a website, like a blog page. So we click on the Hawaiian stilt here. And it'll take us to this nice information page that we made. So you can see some pictures of the aisle, see some fun facts about it. Um, some, so it's like, yeah, some fun facts. Like they were a popular game bird before the hunting of the birds was prohibited in 1939. Um, they're very vocal. Um, threats, like all, pretty much all the birds we're going to see, their threats are going to be habitat loss, invasive plants, introduced predators like dogs, cats, mongoose, rats, bullfrogs, and contamination, pollution, fuel, oil, trash, and some of the breeding habitats we see here. They're very protected of their nests. Um, some, something's funny, or it could be a fun fact too that uh, they'll, they'll fake an injury to get a predator to attack them instead of their young, lure them away. Here we can see what, uh, what the nest looks like. And well, let's look at the next one. We'll go here, we'll go look at the Hawaiian coot. And here we see the coot. Those are recognizable by their white uh, face. Here we see a nest. Uh, some fun facts about them. One of them is that they travel inter-island. If there's not enough food where they're um, from, they'll travel to a new island to find more food. Again, yeah, we see your threat. Same thing. How would that loss introduce predators, invasive plants, and disease like botulism, Clostridium botulinum. That's uh, this is actually a big problem for most of our endemic birds here. And uh, something about them with their breeding that makes it a little bit difficult, more difficult than some of the other birds, is that they're very picky about the water level um, when it comes to nesting. It has to be, it's like a certain depth for them to uh, make their nest. So usually the, their breeding and their egg laying is kind of intertwined with rainfall because that's when the water levels will rise with heavier rainfall. So here we can watch this quick video. We can see their nest that they created in some duckweed.
just picture them. Yep. So you know the, the Hawaiian coot, you identify them by that white face, that white shield in the front of their face, as opposed to our next bird we'll look at, the Gallinor or Alai Ula, you see has the red, the red face shield. So something fun, fun fact about the Alai Ula is that in Hawaiian mythology, it, that, they're the ones who brought fire from the gods to the people. That's how we got fire. It's our fire origination story. Um, these ones are harder to spot than their white face brothers because uh, there are more numbers and they're also a little bit more shy. Again, threats, habitat loss, invasive species. Um, just like the Hawaiian Gallinu, uh, the water levels are crucial for them for nesting as well. And uh, something fun is that they'll make a ramp on the side of the nest so the chicks can move in and out. Yeah, we see a picture here. Uh, let's check out the rest of our website. We got vocabulary here. Some of the key terms we went over. Clutch size, a number of eggs laid, endangered, endemic, invasive. Got our references here. And yeah, we just want to give a shout out to Lauren Katayama. That was all her pictures over there when she was working with the Wildlife Ecology Lab over here at UH Manoa and Dr. Duffy and Dr. Hunter. All right, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed. Check out the website.